Autumn with pumpkin lattice is here already and it is time for the last spring to reach the goals set for this year. By the way, I don't know how to make pumpkin lattice, but I am making decent coffee in Chemex. When I started to build my own apps, I used pen and paper to write down app ideas and sketch designs. It is good enough for beginning, but becomes messy quickly. I like pen and paper, but digital note taking is way better and more efficient. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know I am using Notion to organize my life. I have yearly goals written down here, also I am using Notion to do research and plan content for YouTube and other social networks. My programming related notes and tasks also are in Notion and I am happy to say that Notion sponsors this video. Notion works across all devices, even on iPhone, on iPad, but mostly I am using it on my Mac. Ok, let's take a closer. So far for my indie application I use a very simple approach. If I am clicking for example on this trainer application, you can see some notes and basically tasks. No status, next release, in progress completed. It kind of works, but you have to go and open each and every project to see all the tasks. For example to see what is in next release and so on and so on. And currently I have 5 apps in the app store and that becomes a little bit messy to kind of remember on what I am planning to do. Sure, you can use some external task management application, but that doesn't make life easier. And I have more complex workflow for my YouTube projects, but that's a little bit too complex for indie apps. I would like to have something in the middle. And I decided to switch to the project-based workflow. Notion started to support projects and I implemented that for my part-time in the apps and that kind of works. So here it is, that is my main view for all the projects in one screen and I will explain how it works step by step and no worries you will get this template so you can use it as well you don't need to somehow remember or copy everything here yeah. in the middle i have bird's eyes view on all my active tasks i have tasks which are to do those are tasks which are in the progress already i have upcoming tasks which are planned for upcoming next releases but not started yet and i have open issues as well and we have also view with all the tasks and we have view with all the projects but you can work from this one screen you don't even need to go into the task uh, view let's take a look on quick actions here so you can create new tasks that is when you want to create new task but you don't really know what that will be maybe that will be just research maybe that is bug but let's do not use it for now Let's create new feature. Let's say we would like to add dark mode to our application. There are multiple status options. Backlog, that is just drawing new task to the backlog without planning to release it someday soon. Not started, that is kind of next release, but not started yet. In progress, done, archived, that's I think kind of self-explaining. Project, let's go with habit tracking application. Priority, let's say it's low. Actually dark mode, that's super high. <laughs> Estimate, but that is just difficulty of task you are adding, how difficult it is. I will say that one is typo, eight is new feature. So dark mode, maybe three. Version empty, we have version one. Let's say that will go for version two zero, but you can add that later. Most likely you will add that later. And so overview, that is just description of the feature. If you have design, you can add screenshots, I'm using Figma for most of the design's documentation, some user info, for example, maybe user requested that you have email linked here, something like that. Uh, let's open another one just to see what I'm using here. So here is overview, basically users blah 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 would like to have such feature, design is not provided, but we have links to the dub dub video and one more kind of resource, stuff like that. Basically throw what, here whatever is working for you. The same for bug report, you are just clicking button, creating new bug, template automatically adds details what you would like to add. Feel free to edit those templates if you like to change them. You can choose edit and change whatever you like in the template. Here are three different templates and new task is default one. Let's take a look on another bug here it is 
here for example is up crushing bug report so we have estimate type is bug uh, hab in habit tracking application ios version device maybe application version whatever you have what's happening here is additional info uh, that's basically i'm kind of planning to fix it by dropping ios 7 support <laughs> So because why not, right? And how tasks are moving around here. Let's take a look on all the tasks here. So here you see all the tasks. I just created a bunch of empty tasks, clicking around the buttons, but basically those are all the tasks in all the active projects that I have. And you can filter them, for example, by status. For example, if you want to plan your next release, maybe you would like to review backlog tasks and then decide what will go to the next release. Or maybe you would like to see what you are planning for next release. So that's not started yet, but already in progress tasks. So it seems that we have three tasks in progress and planned for next release for habit tracking application and so on and so on. So play around with those filters. It's kind of easy peasy to work with them. And uh, yeah, and when you are working on tasks, so this app crashing task, let's say, this from backlog is going in not started, then it will move up here. So, but it still is available here in open issues because issue is not closed. If you will say it is uh, in progress, it will move up here. So you are working on it now and it is still here opened. And what I like about this approach comparing with separate Kanban board for each application. And when I'm opening my Notion, I see exactly what I'm, what I should work now, what I should, what I will work next, and do I have any open issues and so on. So everything is kind of crystal clear for me. And one more thing what we have here that is project view. So here I have currently, I have two active projects, my habit tracking application and free diving trainer and one project in backlog, which is not started yet. So if I will, let's say, open this habit tracking application project, I basically see uh, my project description, if I have any about this project here, for example, I have all the tasks open here and I have Kanban board for this specific project. Basically, you are still able to go back to the one dedicated project page and see the Kanban board. And here we can move this uh, around just on Kanban board. If you like that, you can move this to the done and that will update across all the views. If you will go here, you will see that this upcrashing is done in all the task list. If you will go in your general view, you will see that this task disappeared from the list. But if you are going back to the all the task view, you can search mm, tasks by status done and you will see them sorted by project. So if we will release habit tracking application today, we will have this up crashing bug release it and then after release I can add version number here so I have version 1 version 2 basically if you don't have that version that you are looking for you adding basically 2.1 for example new version and then you will be able forever to find your tasks by version number to know was that fixed if yes then one when and so on so I think those quick actions are clear here tasks, how those works are clear, what is new project, basically start the new project, right? So for example, project, here you write some description, you can add some, some details here, and you have your task list, all that stuff. And that project will appear in your project list. So here I have another one, for example, 12 week yeah, so also some description for the project, what that could be and so on. I'm not saying that you need to add each and every new project idea in this project view. Probably better do not do that. I have for that app ideas and projects Kanban board. Uh, let's say, let's take a look on my real one. This is just example, which is available for you. I have my ideas, dumb ideas, maybe not so dumb ideas, but different ideas for projects, something that is kind of promising, but not build, building yet. Actually, this one is building. And yeah, you can move those around. Success, drop it, building, and so on. That is just my ongoing list with active projects. Part-time India building system. Yeah, that's linked to my 30 days uh, sprint approach for building in the applications that's also linked but there is separate video about that i will not deep dive in that now 
I think that this uh, 30 day sprints and this project management uh, workflow template works well together. So I highly suggest you to use both and build and ship new projects. You can find the link to this template in the video description right next to the like and subscribe buttons. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this process or anything else related to indie app development or time or project management. I will be happy to help you with answers and see you on next one. Bye.